like to highlight a um, interface change uh, in the Select Extracted Records tool. Um, these are primarily uh, changes were primarily made to um, make the uh, process of working with um, large data sets better. Um, the loading of large data sets into the display field um, could sometimes be uh, very time consuming. And so uh, what I've done is um, added uh, some processing and some pauses along the way um, that allow the program to essentially um, um, catch up with itself and, and do a little bit better memory management. So this is a record set. There's 114,000 records in it. Um, there's 389 uh, megabytes. Uh, so this is a pretty good size file. Um, if you would try and load this under the old process, the data would process very quickly, um, but then it would hang for somewhere in the neighborhood of about 40 to 45 seconds without any user interaction um, as it tried to render the data in the display field. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've created um, a uh, user um, uh, process here that tells you how many records it's processed. And then when it hits points of 10,000, it stops, kicks them into the UI, and then reads the next set, stops, kicks them into the UI, and into the next set. And what that does is that um, reduces the amount of overhead that needs to be handled by the application. Before, the application could, um, on very large data sets, uh, be consuming two or 300 megabytes of virtual memory. Um, now there's pretty much a ceiling somewhere around 50 uh, megabytes, which is uh, about 20 higher than the uh, application normally runs under. Um, here we can see it's through its 114,000 records, data renders. Um, the other option, the other thing that I did um, is for very large sets like this, um, I found that when using the file processing, um, it was sometimes very difficult to know what was happening because um, again, the user input coming back and forth was, was, wasn't um, uh, really great. Uh, so what I've done is I've added some, um, some interaction so that it's a little bit easier to see um, when uh, data is coming back to you. Uh, let me see, where was my data file? Here it is. All right, so this is a data file. Um, it's a set of regular expressions. Um, so look for particular control numbers is about 17. And so if I uh, go to my file and paste that in and then uh, collect my um, file name, and paste those there, um, I can go ahead and check my regular expression box and run the search. And now MarkEdit will tell me how many current records have been searched. Or if I have a very small number of records, but let's say hundreds of thousands of search terms, the program will reverse the process and tell you how many terms searched against the records. Um, so in this case, we get our 17 records selected. And now we can extract those records for um, use within our uh, within the application or wherever we want to put them. Um, so that gives us an option to uh, be able to um, get more user interaction so that it's easier to tell um, when the program is working and when it's not working. Um, generally, I found that with this part of the application, the file processing was the place where the program would um, sit considerably without any user interaction um, because so much data could potentially be, be uh, uh, processed because um, you're never sure how large the file is versus um, how big the list is. And so hopefully the user interaction here um, is uh, is useful um, and not um, intrusive.